Swimming has been extremely important. I have been a swimmer since I was about eight years old. I've loved every phase of it. Every four years um, in an Olympic year, I actually get really excited. I was a very proud member of the 1980 Olympic team in the 100 meters backstroke. Unfortunately, President Carter declared the boycott, and so the U.S. team was not going to be going to Moscow. I was devastated. I mean, it, as everyone knows, the Olympics come every four years, and timing is almost everything. Sue Wolf just wants to improve on her time. When 1984 came around, I felt ready and prepared. Unfortunately, um, became sick the night before my race and got third by one one hundredth of a second. So I missed making the team once again. That was it. That was the end of my Olympic dream. Those moments are not what define you, but it's how you respond to them and how you live your life after that that really do. It's okay to grieve, it's okay to be disappointed, but it's not something that should keep you from uh, moving beyond and pursuing other dreams, and that's what I focused on. The thing that's great about swimming is it is a sport that you can do lifetime. I try to swim three days per week as long as my uh, family and job allow for it. I usually try to swim in one major meet per year. When I'm watching the Olympic Games, I actually love watching a lot of different sports. Watching people reach their potential and being able to really realize that dream. I, I, maybe I'm living vicariously through them, but I, I thoroughly enjoy it. People training, preparing, competing, performing, and we get to all watch and enjoy it.